Melania's Waterfowl Dance. We all know it, and some of us like it. For some reason. But I had a question come to me when I was hit by the flurry for the hundredth time. Is it possible to survive all of Melania's Waterfowl Dance? To answer this question, I faced her multiple times with different armor, talisman, and health combinations, and the answer is... Well, yes, but actually no. Join me as we delve into the full answer. What's that? The whole preamble wasn't the intro? No, that was the abstract. This video is formatted like a science paper because we're doing some learning today, but way more informal. You can tell because I'm referring to myself in the first person instead of the third person that's the standard for science papers. And this is a YouTube video, not a paper that's being published in a journal. Which brings me to the actual question I'm going to answer. What combination of health and damage negation is necessary to survive the waterfall dance? But that doesn't work for the YouTube algorithm. I was thinking of this question during my Solar and Beast attacks run, as Millennia's duck dance was kicking my butt. To answer this question, I created a new character. Let her solo me. My creativity knows no bounds. And picked Wretched as my starting class. I then went through the game normally, leveling Endurance and Vigor to 40. I needed 40 Endurance to medium roll with the Bull Goat set, as that's one of the armor sets I was testing, and it's incredibly heavy. Why didn't I also level Strength to 30 or so to wield a Great Shield? Defense. Defense is calculated by two statistics, your overall character level, and a specific attribute, with Strength directly governing your physical defenses and the rest of your starting class yields the lowest possible character level. Though this may have been unnecessary, as at character level 61 and 40 in both Vigor and Endurance, my defenses were 99. At max level, i.e. level 713, my defenses would be 195, a little less than double. I would then face Millennia with 4 sets of armor. All Virtuous set, Black Knife set, Scaled set, and Bold Goat set. These sets were picked as they represent 10%, 20%, 30% and 40% physical damage negation. I would face her with each of the four sets with the following combinations. Just the armor set. Armor set and dragon crest great shield talisman. Armor set and ritual shield talisman. Armor set with both talismans equipped. I then repeated the above tests with 60 and 99 figure stats as well. If you're counting, that's 48 tests. 48 Waterfowl dances, or slightly less than an average fight with Melania. A quick note on how a defenses and damage is calculated in Eldering. First, the damage goes through your character's defenses. The damage amount is subtracted by your defense value. Finally, the remaining damage amount is reduced by your negation, which is determined by your equipment. Example: Say an incoming attack deals 1,000 damage, and you have 100 defense and 25% negation. The 100 of defense would be subtracted off first, so the 1000 turns into 900. The remaining 900 is further reduced by 25%, or 225, due to the negation. So 900 minus 225 is 675. The total damage received is 675. With how the experiment was done, let's look at the results. A 40 Vigor, both Albertus set and the Black Knife set were not able to survive a single flurry of Millennia Stucky Dances in all cases. The Scaled and Bullgoat sets were able to survive one flurry with the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman equipped. At 60 Vigor, the Black Knife set saw an improvement as it was able to survive a single flurry as long as an indication boosting talisman was equipped. The Scaled set saw an improvement with the Ritual Shield Talisman setup, being able to survive the first flurry as well. And finally, the Bull Gold set was able to survive two flurries with the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman equipped, and one flurry with just the Ritual Shield Talisman equipped. Finally, at 99 Vigor, Albertus set was able to survive the first flurry with the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman equipped. Both the Black Knife and Bull Gold sets saw no improvement from the 60 Vigor tests. But the scale set dead. With the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman quit, it was possible to survive two flurries. At 60 Vigor, I did one more test. I wore the Bull Goat set with the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman and consumed an Iron Jar Aromatic before the Waterfall Dance. With all of that, it was possible to survive the full Ducky Dance.
So there you have it. It is technically possible to survive the Waterfall Dance, but the question wasn't whether the Ducky Dance was survivable, but whether there was a combination of armor, talismans, and health that made the Ducky Dance survivable. The answer to that is a resounding no. There were no combinations that allowed a player to survive the full might of the Waterfall Dance. That being said, at 40 Vigor, with heavier armor and the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, it was possible to survive the first flurry. At 60 Vigor, with medium armor or heavier and talismans that boosts negation, it was a similar story. You are able to survive at least one flurry, meaning that you are allowed to make at least one mistake during your evasion attempt with any of the above 11 combination. The Bull Goat set, with 60 Vigor and the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, it was possible to survive two full hits. Thanks again for watching one of my videos, especially this one as it's different from most of my other videos. If you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like, it goes a long way. As always, I'm rooting for you, we're all in this together.